Thank you for joining me for another Mastercam video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. And you'll be notified each time a new video is released. That's some very good feedback from Bob. I just want to follow up on his comments. Uh, he had a suggestion of to suppressing these holes in the history. Unfortunately, when we go to the solid model history of this part, there is no history on the holes. It's just a solid body. So that option with this part is not available to us. We do have another option though. We can go to our model prep functions and under modify feature we can hit remove. The only problem with hitting remove, check that off, it will take the feature out so we have a surface to work with but it still doesn't add any history to the model. So it makes it difficult to come back and drill the holes after the fact. So now we have a couple different options we can do. I'm just going to bring this file in once again. This was a Parasolid file. So, in order to, to keep the history for the holes, or keep the reference for the holes, I should say, I need to be able to track these holes somehow. One of the, what you can do, in this case here, I'll make another level, and I'm simply going to make a copy of the part. So I'm going to transform, translate, say copy this part here. We end selection, I go under advanced, and I'm going to say to level 2 in blue. So when I clear colors here, you'll see that I have a blue copy on level 2. At this point, I'm going to activate level 1, turn off level 2. And I'm going to use the copy to drill the holes. So when I go to model prep here, all I have to do is say remove. And I'm going to pick the holes in this case here. And then I've got all the holes removed. Now that we have one smooth surface with no holes in it, it's easier to get a smooth flow line toolpath. So I'm going to go to a flow line, select the surface, or face of the solid in this case. And in this case, I don't, I can just check the flow of it. And I'm going to say I change the cut direction. And that looks like it will do what I want it to do. I'm going to get a tool from the library, in this case here. I'm going to select the tool, and we'll go a eh, half inch ball mill. I'm not going to worry about the other details at the moment. And right now, if we go to toolpaths, we've got a nice flow line toolpath. Speed that up just a bit to get through it a little faster. And that will work. Now that we have a smooth flow line toolpath, we can drill the holes. To drill the holes, all I'm going to do is go into our levels here and activate the copy and turn off the original. We still have the holes in our copy, so we can pick those pretty easily. All we need to do is go to drilling and simply select our holes. And we're going to get a tool, and we'll select a tool from the library, and a half inch drill will work. And we'll say go ahead and drill it. Now let's do a quick simulation. And looks like everything's working fine there. The reason I like the surface method better 
is I can control the flow line toolpath by extending the surface. It works pretty easily. Also, I don't have to track an extra solid in this case here. I'd have to keep track of that solid that I'm using for the smoother toolpath.